<laughs> Hi guys, I am Eli. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we are Freshly Squeezed. We want to tell you a story about two college buddies who took an extended trip to Mexico. There, they learned from the locals, they experienced traditions, they appreciated the handcraft that went into building everything, including the perfect glass of tequila. They wanted to bring this slow-paced, handcrafted lifestyle back home. In 1995, El Sabor Tequila was launched in the US. But a lot has changed in the last 20 years since we founded the brand. From the rise of major tech partners to the mainstreaming of social media, the world sped up and we sped up with it. And in this hyper-connected culture, everyone was putting their self-curated their self, self first, their non-authentic self. And we don't get to see how people live their lives every day. We see the Nat Geos of the world, where people backpack around the world for a living. There's Red Bull, where people are jumping out of planes in squirrel suits. It's ridiculous, and we are told to aspire to this. And the premium spirits category has gone right along with it. If they're not pinky up pretentious, they've shifted to this go big or go home party mentality, completely unapologetic about it. And we followed along with them to keep up. But in the process of this, we lost all the brand values about special moments that our brand was founded upon. The sip had turned into a shot. El Sabor tequila turned from a savor the moment drink to a forget the moment party drink. And the reality is, we don't want to go big all the time. We can't just quit our jobs and go travel the world for a year. And we don't want to put our lives on hold until we can do that stuff. What we want to do is live every day. And so now the time is ripe for El Sabor Tequila to go back to our roots. And we want to bring everybody with us. We want to bring back the sipping moments. We want to bring back the experiences that we'll never forget. The memories, both big and small, from graduations to a first drink before a first date, to the moments with friends and family. We're going to reinvent, we're going to reinvent Work hard, play hard, by making every moment special. And to make every moment special, we're going to launch our Live Every Day campaign. So our objective for this campaign is to motivate this work hard, play hard consumer to choose El Sabor as their preferred drink of choice, and also to keep our brand top of mind when they're doing these everyday activities. So our target audience is 25 to 35 year olds, young professionals who are currently living in these top 10 tequila consuming cities in the US that we're gonna be targeting for this particular campaign. So our budget and timing um, for this particular campaign is going to be a one month campaign flight and we're gonna use our $1 million budget to make that happen. So we are going to execute our strategy by leveraging CoFactor's content activation engine to streamline all of our digital content throughout the campaign. So with their technology, we can actually onboard all the content that we're given. So we can, whether it's something we create, our influencers, our realtors, consumers, brands, partner assets can all be put into a centralized database that we can then activate throughout the campaign and distribute across multiple channels. So the foundation of our campaign is gonna be centered around this content that we create. So our main creative assets are gonna be our hashtag, live every day, as well as this custom meme generator that will allow our users to really engage with the brand and share their own content and their everyday moments as well. Um, in addition, we're also gonna create a video to jumpstart the campaign. And by using this dynamic video, we're just gonna reinforce the strategy um, across these different cities. We're also gonna activate using influencers. So we're gonna use 
um, these top 10 industries that we know our target audience is interested in engaging with. We're also going to use mid-level influencers um, so that we know that they're creating the right kind of content that we want to use. So it's stuff that you're probably already doing in your everyday life. I am too. You're already following on these channels. We're also going to leverage strategic partnerships. So in this particular uh, instance, we chose to incorporate a partnership activation with Uber to create excitement and a special moment around something that's actually a simple activity, like sharing a ride with your friends. So with this, we would have a call to action leading up to the campaign. So if we have a month-long campaign going on, we're going to have social, email, mobile, promotional efforts that are going to um, drive consumers to want to get excited, leaving up excuse me, leading up to our special for this Live Everyday Weekend sponsored by El Sarbor and partnered with Uber. So during the weekend, we're, with this Uber experience, after you call your Uber, you book your ride, you arrive at your destination, you're gonna get this surprise and delight element. Instead of getting your trip receipt, you're actually going to see messaging that says El Sarbor has paid for your, your trip, enjoy your night, and then encourage people to share that out socially across different channels using um, Live Every Day. So we're also going to distribute media across these channels, um, social, email, and mobile, to support the campaign. So with social, we're going to activate our influencers um, to get their followers to start sharing out both the meme and the hashtag. Um, in addition, we're also going to then reshare their content across our own uh, properties as well as the best of consumers content that would be featured from each of the cities. We're also gonna have a custom filter for Snapchat that consumers can use in those cities as well. And then with the email activation, we're also gonna send out email blasts um, to not only our El Sarbor um, network but also our partner CRM to really extend the reach of our audience and also extend that brand loyalty, whether it's with Uber in this particular case, but in the future, opening that up to different sponsors. And then finally, with our mobile efforts, using geofencing there to really target key locations in each of these cities. So whether it's a coffee shop, an office building, a bar, somewhere we know young professionals are already networking with each other, connecting, um, we're gonna connect with them too as a brand and uh, use that strategy as well. So we created this campaign to make people connect over everyday moments. So continue to work hard, continue to play hard, but throughout it all, remember to live every day. Cheers from El Sabor Tequila. I like how your presentation went at the same pace that you're trying to get everybody to slow down to. So, thanks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, one quick question. So, so Uber. I mean, that's an interesting partnership. How do you plan on targeting the right Uber riders to get the you know the surprise and delight? Great tequila? question. So, first of all, with Uber, you have to actually sync the app to your Facebook. So, with the restrictions around 21 and up and marketing with alcohol, we can actually make sure that their age is already set and taken care of within the app. So, that's one way that we're going to make sure the messaging goes out to the right person. The secondary way would be through the email blasts that we're sending out, um, whether it's retargeting within those um, through both of our partner and our own email list. And we're also going to focus our efforts where the most social sharing occurs because this is going to be the big way that our campaign gets out. So LA and New York, um, they're going to be the hubs for where we're going to launch this, especially with a limited budget. We want to make sure we get the most bang for our buck. Yeah. Uh, one more follow-up question with Uber. Um, how do you plan on pitching this to them? They're pretty hard to work with. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so we want to encourage safety across this stuff, and that's a big part of Uber, is making sure people get home safely from bars, and that's one of the biggest uses of Uber. And so this would fit really nicely into what they're trying to do. And um, Uber sponsors a lot of events that focus on these moments and enjoying themselves. You see them with their tents at all these different events, um, and, and our tequila seems to fit right in with their brand um, and their goals to keep people safe. Yeah, there's still two more minutes for questions. Just, um, I was really interested when you talked about taking a sip versus taking a shot and how you're gonna create that kind of mentality. 
I, I just want to know a bit more about how you're going to do that because I know even in my generation, we take shots of tequila. So I think that was a huge part of our brand challenge. So growing up with the people who are outgrowing the brand, they're not going to outgrow an everyday moment. They're still going to go to their kids' um, graduations. They're going to experience all these, but so are we. So I think it transcends kind of both generations getting a mind shift there. Um, we're not completely moving away from partying, but it's turning it into an experience instead of that two-second shot and then run out the door. And of course, people are still going to be taking shots. They're going to be doing everything. People take shots of really, really high-end premium tequila, but our messaging is going to be focused on taking a step back, making a quality mixed drink, and really enjoying it rather than just downing it like you did in college. From a consumer standpoint, or who, who are we going after? What's the competitor that we're going to steal share from, or are you going to grow non-tequila drinkers into tequila drinkers through this campaign? So we have a nice middle ground between the like party hard college tequilas and the ultra premium like um, pinky up pretentious tequilas. We play really nicely in this middle ground and I think that we're gonna steal from both sides. Um, and the nice thing is this campaign appeals to everyone. It's not just millennials. Um, the older generations can appreciate this too. Um, and I think that we, we are really well positioned to get share from other spirit um, brands as well, not just tequila. I think especially with um, the type of campaign with the content, you're not only getting the middle ground with the current tequila drinkers, but you also have other people out there who are gonna see the branding who might not have tried it before, but might wanna convert and try now. In terms of price, I don't know, where does El Sabor sit between like, you know, the more expensive tequilas and the cheaper tequilas that you would shoot? Yep, so we sit right, around, right under the price point of Patron. Um, it's, a relatively affordable tequila, but you're not just going to be buying it um, to go take a bunch of shots and waste it. Um, it's definitely got a little bit of a premium price point to it. Okay. That's, that's it. That's what we got time for. Thanks, guys. Thank you.